How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel, Pete's Carport, and welcome to part two of rewiring my 1963 Austin Healey Sprite behind me. This car has been around on the channel for quite some years, and I do things here and there on it, and my goal is to get this thing completely back on the road, not going for stock, because this car was modified from the day that I bought it, but the entire wire harness was destroyed in this car, and a lot of bad things were done. So I decided I'm ripping the entire thing out. And why go with a stock wire harness when I can just put in a aftermarket, a lot less expensive one with a fuse box that I feel is actually a better wire harness for this car. It's gonna be much safer. And now we've got a fuse box mounted up under there. Now this wire harness I got off Amazon was kind of designed for a hot rod. So it is a universal one, but it's got everything and way more than I will ever need. So this might look like a mess, but a lot of it is getting completed now. And the goal of this video is to get all this tidied up. I'm gonna be installing a nice blinker switch here. It's a dual rocker. So I've been wanting to have something for blinkers because this car's never had any type of turn signals. And uh, we started to wire up and ground out all of these. And one of these is the headlights. Uh, I think I'm gonna do the brights here, windshield wipers and fuel pump there. So I'll go through that again. All the little lights on that will work by the end of the video. And then I just started to kind of figure out everything here. So I ran wires down for headlights, ran wires down for our turn signals and really just started going through all this because it was a complete disaster. And now I know what every wire uh, was doing and we're rewiring all of that now too. So I'm getting everything wired into the headlights, the turn signals, and then I went ahead and wired up our brake light switch that's right here. So the brakes are currently working. I just need to tidy up the wires. And I also rewired a lot of the wires that were going to the back here to our tail light. So a lot of that is all done. Like I said, it might look like a little bit of a mess in there, but this is gonna go quick because I've done all of the hard work off camera. And I just wanted to fill you guys in here. I'm excited about this. We're gonna get this hood back on before the end of the video, get this thing washed down. Another thing I did is the rear brakes were completely blown out on this car. So I cut them off. I actually plugged off the line that goes back here. So right now we're running off a front brake. So we will be able to drive it. It does stop actually pretty good. And I did order in all new rear brakes. So the next video after this, I'll be installing those or off camera. And then the car will be where I need it to be to start just having fun with it until I decide to frame off restore this or do something along those lines. So let's get started. Let's get this thing completed. And I wanna take this thing on a drive and show you guys how it drives, how it sounds, and how fun this car actually is. All right guys, so I went ahead and wired up the turn signal switch to this rocker switch and kind of just twisted the wires together here just so I could test everything out. Let me go ahead and turn the key on. I've got this thing grounded and it's a little confusing on this switch, but as you can see, it's working over on that side there. And then when I switch it to this side, it goes, but then it turns off. And I've already went ahead and flipped it. See, it's not wanting to flash on this side. And I've already went ahead and switched out the two uh, wires on the back here. And what'll happen is same thing. This side won't work that well. So there's gotta be a short somewhere on this side. So I'm gonna have to take my, um, my turn signal out, the light here, there might be a faulty light in there or one of the wires might be bad and just send new wires over to here, which I planned on doing anyways and then we can test the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that. Now that I know it looks like everything's gonna be right, these rocker switches can be a bit tricky. There's a lot of parts that you can connect to here. So I'm pretty sure our issue lies in the bulb because I tried to run the wire directly to this and it would go to light up and then dim back out. And the ironic part is, look at this side. This is the one that works and look at the bulb. The bulb is almost falling apart. So I'm gonna go pick up two new bulbs and really get this cleaned out. We're going to be changing out a lot of stuff on this video, I think. Well, 
Well guys, this stuff never comes easy, especially dealing with old wiring. Now I did rewire most of the rear back here, but now I'm testing out the rear. This one's working perfectly fine and this side was not working. So I pulled apart what's left of the loom, which is basically just the wires coming from here. And there's a little section in here that they put with these little connectors here that I didn't realize were still here. And this piece had fallen out. So what I did was I went ahead and alligator clipped it, ran it straight to the power. And if I turn my power on, I've got the power going to it. You can see we're getting that side and the other side does work. So now all I gotta do is just rewire a wire to there, run it to our switch. <laughs> I know it looks like a mess, but we're sorting out everything. I am picking up some new front blinkers. I'm pretty excited about doing something different up there. So I'm working on something. I'm gonna fill you guys in on that. So you really can't plan for this. I guess I'm gonna call it a day. We'll get right back at it. You guys will see it on the same video. Well guys, it's a few days later and I had ordered in some universal LED turn signals in this amber color that I really, really like. I'm very happy with how they came in and they don't fit perfectly into our stock area here. So I had to come up with a solution. So I grabbed some scrap metal, some thick scrap plastic, and I started trying to figure out uh, the best way to cut these and try to make a template so we'd have something for our new lights to mount to. So I grabbed the framework of our stock lights and drew a design around it and then cut it out and reshaped it a little bit. And I think it's gonna fit perfectly. Well, I think it goes this way actually. I think it's gonna fit perfectly there. And then we're gonna rivet our turn signals to that and mount this probably into the stock holes there with some bolts. So pretty excited about this. This should go together really nicely. I'm gonna zoom through a lot of this. We're gonna cut another piece and then we're gonna paint these black try to fix uh, as much of this as we can to protect it from rusting. So we'll grind down this little area here and then we'll spray this with some primer, get this black, get that put on there and see how it looks. Well guys, it's time for a fill-in and I got a lot done and most of it off camera. And that is due to the fact that Hurricane Ian uh, came through just outside of where I live, which is right outside Tampa, Florida. And I put this car away. I decided to put it up in this garage. We did lose power, but I was able to get stuff done off camera. Obviously wasn't gonna record it because it was very, very poor lighting, but I did get most of these wires bundled up. And now all I've gotta do is zip tie all these together and mount them up in there. These are the wires that I'm not currently going to be using, but I want to make sure I can access those in case I add any of that stuff. And then most importantly, my turn signal blinker switch is hooked up and working. So turn signals are working both front and back. We've got brake lights, we've got headlights, and that was a big goal on this video, guys. Now, as you guys saw earlier, 
and you're probably looking at this like, what in the world is he doing? I installed these blinkers here, and yes, I don't like them either, at least the way that they look right now, but the goal here was to primer up the area to protect it from rusting, because this whole car is gonna be repainted down the road, and I did not wanna cause any further damage, and I wanted to have something on here so that I'd have a nice turn signal while driving this around and test driving it. After looking at it, I realized, man, this is really cool. I can get the covers here that were originally on it. They will fit just over this and mount perfectly. And you'll still be able to see those beautiful LEDs through this. And I'm gonna order in new ones of these. So some nice new clear ones, that's pretty exciting. So it's still gonna look stock, but it's gonna have some nice LED lights behind it. And I'll probably remount these on a piece of sheet metal. Not sure if I like the plastic too much. It didn't seem to hold up when I was mounting it. Outside of that, um, I went ahead and wound up all these wires. I put nice bullet connectors onto these lights here so I can take them off and soldered and um, heat shrink a lot of this stuff up in here. So this is a lot of off camera stuff that got done. The last thing I really wanna get done on this video is cleaning up this engine bay and using this braided wire loom to get all these wires all nice and neat and make this engine bay look really, really nice. We could probably throw the hood back on for this video. And the final thing that I'm gonna do, now this is down the road, uh, but I'm gonna mention on this is probably black out a lot of this chrome. So if you look here, a lot of this is all pitted. Um, some of it's rusting along here. So I think I'm gonna sand all this down and go with a flat black, a flat black grill. And I ordered in a flat black mirror to replace this one because this one's actually broken. So that'll be down the road. I wanna see how that looks and probably do some uh, something with the paint that matches that, maybe like a flat black stripe down the middle here or something along those lines. So a lot of that's gonna come down the road, but I did order in some of those things. Without further ado, let's get finished up with this video, get that wire loom put in and uh, see how everything looks. Well guys, this is the most complete this car has been in years and I could not be happier. It looks awesome just like the day I got it. Now I do have some plans to change some things, modify some things, but that'll be down the road. Now what we completed on this video is insane. I did so much work, hours and hours went into getting this thing wired. It was the first car I've ever wired and everything's working. Our headlights work, our blinkers work, our tail lights work, our brake lights work and the wire loom is in place. Everything is nice and tidy, nice and safe. Now I've got to finish up some of the area up in here, but I'm running out of daylight and I wanted to show you guys kind of how I did this here. Tighten this up here with this nice little rubber strap that goes around there and did the same thing there. So it pulls the loom up over there. I've got to finish uh, putting loom on some of this in there and zip tying a lot of what's going on up here. I do have plans to take these brake lines. I might replace this bent up one or try to straighten it and take this loom here and do the same thing along there with those straps and just clean up everything else that's in there. 
Now I went ahead and got all of our wiring tucked up underneath our dash that needs to be tucked up under there. As you guys can see, I did end up installing a new starter pull switch here because the one that I had wasn't long enough once I mounted it. Ironically, I think I cut it too short originally. These wires that you see here, this is uh, for the horn here and this is for the wipers. So I'm gonna attach the wipers to this. Uh, as you guys saw earlier, I'm gonna show you again, these all light up, headlights work, tail lights work, brake lights work. So that is absolutely the main goal of this entire project so far for this video was to get everything working. Our uh, turn signal switch does need to be mounted, but I've got to figure out how to cut into this dash without messing it up. And I got to make sure I put it where I really, really want it. So it might go there. I am going to play around with that. And I did not want to rush that, but this is really cool. It's a nice little toggle switch that allows me to have uh, my turn signals for left, turn signals for right. So get nice and safe for driving around and having some fun. So tell me what you guys think. I am enjoying this project so much. I haven't dove into this car in quite some time and it is an exciting project. It's a fun car to work on and I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. You guys have an awesome day, a blessed week and I'll catch you on the next video.